Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. In today's video, I followed Tamara Renee's updated makeup routine. If you don't know who Tamara Renee is, she's a fashionista, a YouTuber. Sis is gorgeous and I wanted to try her makeup routine because she always looks bomb. So if you would like to see the process, how everything turned out, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get into the video. She just dropped an updated makeup routine and it looks so flawless. I'm going to attempt to achieve the same look that she did in her video in this video. First, she primed her face. What I will do is I will add some clips throughout my video to show you which step I am doing from her video the first thing she did she used the milk hydro grip primer to prime her entire face so that's what we're going to do I am super excited to try this because most of the products she was using in her video are products that I already have and I also love. We're going to see how the makeup look turns out on me. The next step she did, she actually did her brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Thin Brow Pomade. For some reason, I cannot find mine, so I just filled my brows in with my NYX pencil. But I'm going to use the same concealer she used to clean them up. So to clean them up, she used the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. So that's what we're going to use to carve out the brows. I'm super excited. Her makeup is always so flawless and beautiful. So I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out on me. I will be sure to link her video down below so you guys can check it out but it's actually amazing if you guys don't know who tamara renee is i don't know where you've been she is a youtuber instagram fashionista like she does it all she's absolutely beautiful my good sis i absolutely love her i will link everything that i use down below and I'll, I'll link her video as well down below because some of the things that she had, I did not have. So some things will be different, so I'll link them down below. Okay, you guys, so the brows are blended. The next thing she did, she used this uh, Too Faced Born This Way, the original foundation. She is in the shade Chai, but I am using the shade Mahogany because that's the shade I've had and she uses a morphe sponge which i don't have so i'm going to use this uh sonia kashuk sponge here and she just goes straight on her face with it i'm super scared you guys because i never do this but she just go like this with it on her face like that and with a sponge she blended in with a sponge so let's try this okay so i'm gonna start i never blend with a sponge you guys know this like I don't know like the sponge just doesn't really do it for me maybe i put too much she uses a sponge but i'm going to use a brush okay Okay, next, she went in with a Morphe 3502 palette, which I don't have. So I'm going to use my 35G Bronze Ghost palette. And I'm just going to use a similar brown as she did. Which I think this is a pretty similar brown as the one that she used all over her lids. Her shadow always looked bomb. So hard to please. she did a good job at explaining everything so it's not really hard for me to follow it yeah i think this looks pretty 
close to the color she did on her lids. I just need to pack it on a little more. Even when I'm down in the low I remember what you were saying. Sometimes all you need is a spark. After this, she used two concealers. These are the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. She had butterscotch and warm sand. Unfortunately, I cannot find my warm sand. So I'm just gonna use what I had. So I had um chest I have chestnut, but I do have the butterscotch. So I'm going to use chestnut first and then I'll highlight with the butterscotch. She applied the butterscotch, but I'm going to substitute that for chestnut because I don't have the other shade that she used, like under her eyes, like right here. She used a color way lighter than this on her chin, on her forehead, and down here. the lighter one that she puts that only under her eyes like so only under the eyes and while she's doing this she prepares her setting powder use the laura mercier honey and the sasha buttercup which i don't have the sasha buttercup so i'm going to use something else i'm going to show you you're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark This is very bright and light But it's gonna get toned down when you're done with your powders, the setting and all of that stuff She uses first the Laura Mercier This gives you such a pretty setting and then after the Laura Mercier, she goes in with her Sasha Buttercup, which like I told you guys, I don't own that one, so I'm going to use another one. She bakes for about two to three minutes. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. I'm moving closer to you now. Okay, so since I do not have the Sasha Buttercup, I use the Ben 9 Luxury Powder. This is the Ben 9 Banana Powder. I got this from Amazon. I will be sure to link it down below. And of course, the Laura Mercier. We use that first. The next step is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. You guys know I love this one for sure and she's going to powder her entire face and i think this step really tones down tones everything down because she put it all over because her face is always flawless but i'm looking very powdery and very light so hopefully the bronzer will bring in a little color to our face then after that she uses a morphe contour bronzer in the shade trailblazer that brings back the color it's not super dark on my skin but it can be built up and to bring a little bit of it on my nose just to bring the colors okay so she used for blush format i don't have format so i'm just going to use gingerly mixed with raisin from mac i'm going to use these two colors because i don't have the one that she used okay and then she used a highlight the highlight she used i don't have so i'm just going to use my fenty beauty hustler baby highlight without you by my side she used the same palette and put the color underneath as well and then she's going to do the rest of the eye stuff so a little wing the lashes and all she added um liner and then she put on her lashes which you guys know I'm not really a lashes girl 
So the liners I used were the e.l.f. felt tip liquid liner and this Fenty Beauty fly liner and of course like I said she added lashes you can definitely do that but I'm not a lashes girl so I'm just going to put on my mascara this look for sure would look better with you know lashes and the whole shebang but I don't wear lashes the lashes definitely elevate the look so if you're a lashes girl go ahead and put your lashes on it will make this look a lot better all right i think we're almost done the, the only thing that's left is her lip combo for the combo i actually did it already in my last video trying on the nars foundation i'll also link that down below for you guys and up in the cards so definitely she used about five products which i have here she has the kkw lip liner in new 2.5 and new 3 and she has the lipsticks and new 2 and new 2.5 the lipsticks look like this but she uses the new 3 first and outline her entire lip And then she uses the 2.5 for the entire lip, kind of like blending in the darker one. She applies Nude 2, which is the lighter color, first, all over her lips. These are very creamy. And then she adds 2.5 on top. She goes with KKW 2.5 on top. I don't have that, so I'm going to use this um, MAC lip glass in Boy Bait. That's pretty much it. I'm going to set my makeup because I always set the makeup. Circling among the clouds Because without you by my side my thoughts on the look my face is a lot more full coverage than i'm used to i never really wear full coverage makeup like this so this is different for me i want to hear your thoughts down below let me know what you think of this look how did i do did i nail it did i not let me know it looks amazing on tamara so i thought i would give it a try anyway guys this is the end of the video i want to thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me let me know your thoughts down below on this look how did i do like comment rate subscribe share with your friends and family i truly appreciate it and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye